Good morning, Larry. It's Nico from Cliff Jones RV over here in Sealy. I want to make this video for you to tell you about this 2019 Forest River 16 BHS, uh, the wolf pup that you inquired about. So starting out up front, uh, this unit does come with a manual tongue jack, but if you would like, we certainly can upgrade you to an electric. It does have one propane tank, uh, but it is possible to add a second one if you would like. Although this one propane tank will definitely last you uh, for a weekend. You do have a diamond plate up here to protect you from rocks and debris when you go down the road. This RV is prepped for solar panels, so if you'd like to add a suitcase like this one here, uh, you can keep your battery charged and keep your lights on. Here's the uh, connection here. Also, it does have a great amount of storage up front, as you can see. One really great thing about this RV is that it does have an electric awning. I know that some other RVs in this price range and in this size only have uh, the manual ones, but the great thing is this one does include an electric awning, so it makes it a little bit easier whenever you want to get a bit of shade as you're camping outside. This RV does have a friction hinge door, so the advantage of that is that it doesn't have uh, plastic pieces on the door or over here on the side of the RV. Those plastic pre uh, pieces always tend to become brittle and break over time. Or if you forget that they're there, you accidentally rip it out of the wall. So with this one, you don't have to worry about it. Um, if the wind's blowing, it'll easily close itself against your RV, not just slam closed. Also, it does have a screen door here. And the great thing about the screen door, if you want to get good cross ventilation going, uh, it has a fantastic vent, lots of windows you can open. And also this one, and the good thing about this is that it has a patented door opening system so you can open and close your door without letting any bugs in. Also, it does have an extra large door handle here. It does have three positions, like so. So, some RVs have a tiny little plastic door handle, but with this one, it really makes it a lot easier for people of all ages to easily get in and out of your RV. And also, it does have the step above steps. People really like these steps. They're a fifth wheel style feature and they're resistant to rust because they are aluminum uh, has a very low entry point and they're just really sturdy uh, i mean you could jump on these steps uh, all day long and they're not going to go anywhere great thing about this rv as well is that it does have a range hood so i will get more into this later but uh, this is where it vents outside if you're cooking so you can vent fumes out this rv does have marine grade speakers outside with led lights so if you want to listen to music, watch the game out here, uh, you can listen uh, to music with the built-in radio that's inside. And also you can put a TV right here. It's really easy to move it in and out. Uh, it does have grounded power connections and also your cable connections here. These spare tires can be located on the back in case you ever need it. One really neat thing about this RV for storage you have this access door here and you can fold this bunk out of the way and look at all the storage that you have. That whole bunk is storage right there. And it's really easy to get to uh, because you have this door right here. Of course this RV is only 20 foot long so it is 30 amp service is where your main power connection is. It does have an outside shower with hot and cold water so if you're outside at the beach and you're about to go back in you can wash your feet off so you don't get sand all in your RV. This is the city water connection on the right, so if you're at an RV park uh, or you just need constant water supply, this is where you'll plug in. If you want to go dry camping, you can fill your uh, fresh water tank so you have potable water with you no matter where you go. The water heater is a six gallon gas and electric water heater, so that way you have hot water as long as you have propane or main power. So now we can go inside. Okay. Let me give you a 360 view here. Here we go. So the 16 BHS is great uh, if you want to sleep five people comfortably. You have the queen bed here. And that can easily sleep two adults, of course. And you can sleep one person on the dinette. And then you have two single bunks here. So if you don't want something that's too crazy heavy uh, or long, something easy to tow, you know, really for the whole family, this unit's great. Um, two people can sit here and enjoy a meal easily. And you do have a view outside with this window. There is storage underneath the dinette as well. 
so it just gives you more storage in addition to the others that I've shown you. This is the all-in-one radio. It is AM, FM, um, Bluetooth, and this RV does also come with an HD antenna as well, so you can enjoy programming. Going to the bathroom. Even though this RV is only 20 foot long, this is a dry bath. It's not a wet bath like some other ones we have. So um, you do have plenty of room in the shower for most people. And also, it does have a fantastic vent. Uh, so if you want to open this before you depart and have a window open, it'll keep it 15 to 20 degrees cooler in here versus not having this. That way, when you reach your destination, when you turn your AC on, it takes less time for it to cool down in here. And also, a great thing about this RV, it has an 8 cubic foot gas and electric refrigerator. So some RVs have tiny little dorm style fridges, but this one has one that you would find in a 30 foot RV. So that's really great. Uh, also, you have a residential power microwave here. It is 1,000 watts, so it will take less time for your food to uh, cook if you use your microwave. This is a range hood that I was talking about outside. Uh, so if you're cooking bacon and eggs in here, you can vent all the fumes out. That way your RV doesn't smell like food all day long. You have a very um, space-efficient two-burner cooktop here. And also you do have a uh, sink to take care of your dishes and everything like that. Storage underneath here. There you go. And also overhead storage here as well. And also this unit does come with a 13,500 uh, BTU AC, which is plenty for an RV of this size. The great thing about it, you can control the uh, airflow with these different vents that are on the side and also um, the vents right here. So that's really nice to control the airflow. Also these RVs come with all LED lights, so they use less power, generate less heat, and they will last a lifetime. Okay, Larry, again, it's Nico from Cliff Jones RV in Sealy. Um, I know you were saying you wanted to come out on Thursday, so please feel free to give me a call with any questions. Uh, we do have RVs that are a little bit smaller. We have RVs that are certainly a lot larger. Um, we will get you the best price possible. And then also, more importantly, uh, for years to come, we do have an excellent service department. We don't have a five- or six-month waiting period like other places do. Please feel free to give me a call with any questions, 979-253-2611. Thank you, Larry.